I tell you, puppies, as everybody knows, they're super cute, super sweet, super fun, but they can be very stressful as well. Isn't that right, Jeff? Can you be stressful? That's why we take so much time teaching these young dogs, six months, by the way, is how old Jeffrey, the German Shepherd puppy is, all their commands via the e-collar so that we can have a communication so we understand one another and we can hold them accountable for doing and complying to these commands so life is easy. So today, Jeff and I are gonna demonstrate how a puppy can be given these commands to move them around the house to help keep control and help keep things calm so things don't get chaotic when you're trying to interact with your dog. We're gonna be using the place command, the down command, and the come command. So check it out, it's pretty cool. We're gonna be having him uh, do all sorts of fun stuff, all sorts of cool commands, chaining them together, moving them around the house, all while staying calm. Very useful stuff for a young dog, because after all, don't forget, right Jeff, this is our message. We're raising dogs, not puppies. All right, let's get started. I got my e-collar in hand. I'm using a level 10. Anytime I give a command, if Jeffrey doesn't start to comply within one second, I tap on the e-collar and I repeat the command. Now, I'm using a level 10. That's pretty low, but he's calm. Remember, the way the e-collar stimulation works is the more aroused he gets, the higher the number is gonna have to go on the e-collar. But the more calm he is, the lower the number. So he's calm, starting with a level 10. That's really low, but it's gonna work for us right now. I'm gonna start moving around the house. So here we go. Jeff, come. Good. And then I start walking. He has to follow my body when I recall him. I'm gonna put him on place. Place, good. Down, good. So I just used three commands together. I used the, word, the, the recall command to have him come to me and follow my body. And then we got to the place command, I put him on place, and then I said down. So this stuff, Lots of, lots of good stuff going on here. We're chaining the commands to make it fluid so you can move around with your dog. You can, you can use these commands in a natural way. So, like I said, I can pick him up off the place bed like so. Come. Good boy. Walk into whatever room I want to at whatever pace I want to. If he starts to lag, I'll repeat the command and click. Place. Walk up to the place bed. Down. Good boy. So he's got that pretty good. You can go right up to the place bed and call him, or I can call him from a distance. So I'll do all these things to practice with him to get him used to it. Come, good boy. And then he has to catch up to that left leg, follow my pace, and if I turn directions, boom, he has to turn with me. Good boy. And there he is. Good. Really throwing him for a loop here, doing a lot of spinning. Good boy. I'm gonna do one more here. Sit. Good. Down. Good. So this time I put him in a down instead of place. This is good practice. Remember, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna to wanna to do around the house with, without distractions at first. You're gonna to wanna to just get used to using these commands with your dog in a sterile environment. And then, once you guys get good at it, you can start adding in distractions. Good boy. This is a great, great practice for when you get your dog home or when your dog learns these commands. If you trained your dog up on the e-collar, it's fantastic. I hope I'm not making anybody too dizzy here. We're gonna put him back on place. Come. Good boy. Place. Down. Good. Awesome. So you see how easy that is. It's very easy to, to practice. You know, it's gonna take a little getting used to, you know, with your dog at home. You're gonna to want to take time to get used to doing this, get used to using the e-collar. I didn't even have to use the e-collar that time because that's how awesome Jeff is. He really knows his stuff. But let's say I asked him to come and he didn't come. I would just click the e-collar then repeat the command. Same for anything else. If I said place and he wasn't getting on the place bed within a second, click, ask again. And um, because it's such a sterile environment, he didn't have any trouble at all. So the next thing you can do is put him on place or put him in a down and start putting distractions around the house like knocks on the doors. We call this role playing. So we're gonna actually see if we can get him to make a mistake so that we can correct him and put him back. So I got my e-collar ready and I'm gonna knock on the door and see what he does. 
So far he's calm, that's good. Good boy. Open the door up. Good. Step outside, these are all things you can do. Usually a dog will make the mistake once or twice and you correct, put them back, and, and you can't get them to make the mistake again. Good boy. So there's all things you can do. You can also use toys or another dog if you, if you want to. And you start <laughs> presenting distractions like that. Now Jeff's been through this stuff. He knows, he knows what he's doing. But a newer dog would make the mistake, get off the bed, you'd say no, you'd correct on the e-collar, tap, then put him back on place and repeat until you get how Jeffrey is here. He can't be fooled. He's like, man, I'm not falling for that stuff. So I hope this helps, guys. Practice with your dog. Practice does make perfect. Add in these distractions when things are getting easy, and then you'll notice your dog's pretty much rock and rolling. And when a real life situation comes, like a, like real guests come in, or 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 you really need them to stay, and there's a lot of distractions, it's a heck of a lot easier. It's a good job, buddy. It's a good job. Break. Go, boy. There you go, huh? Where is it? Go get it. Get it. That a boy. That a boy. Come. Place. Down. Down. Good. Break. Yeah. <laughs> Get it.